Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Fear the Awakening with me, Cornish Knight, and our gallant Cornish Village. Oh, I say, uh, I suppose village? Town, perhaps, would probably be more apparent now. Tro. Oh, Tro, how I do love you so. Now, let us see. Construction. Can we build anything new? Nope. I mean, we could build another... Because we do only have four slots in this town, so I don't really want to build an excessive amount of stuff. Not yet, anyway. Now, oh, production is... I suppose we could produce... Crafting... We can't... What do we need for more gathering tools? We need straw, basically. I need to turn that off then. So they've probably done that sooner. Curses. Oh well. My own mistake. So if we did... So what would be the difference if we put gold in here? Nothing. That might be useful, we get additional healing. Craft, we can't make any craftsman's tools. I thought we had. I'm pretty sure we had. Yeah, we've got. Maybe it's not the right kind of stone. We don't have the right kind of stone. Maybe they're wanting coal or something. Hmm. Clothing. Okay, we don't have any of that. I mean, we could put that in. What's that? That's free compared to four. What's the difference in? I do that. The thing is, I want to try and make the best stuff possible because it gives us the most research points. That's already being done. Let's be done next turn. What were we doing? We had our characters over here, didn't we? Let's just examine our party quickly. Everyone's okay health wise. I need to be getting some I need to get some better stuff really. Let's clear out this nest. You approach the beast and you You approach the beast and you have time to decide your plan of action. Best way to slay the beast is eye to eye. Attack. Yeah, let's try that. I'm more confident in this. Resuffle, that's a bad hand. That's better. As always, we have Irina. No, not as always. Irina, Nadija, and Jane as our offensive group. And these individuals here, I can't read their names because they're covered up. Let's see. We've got, well, we've got Frank, Rose, and Ash as our sort of support people. So we'll throw down Jane first because she can get rid of one of the spiders quickly. And then we will put Nadia, Nadia down. We'll put Irina 
oh, arena down as well. Right, we've got two cards we can do. So we could use counter tactic, discard around the card from your opponent's tactics hand, the discarding cards level must be equal, we could try that. But we got rid of one of those, that's just a good thing. Then we could go Confuse Ally, that might be worth it. Then we'll go Shield Ally, add Shield bonus to your rightmost card in your queue equal to your Shield Ally's level. This effect will last until the end of the current round. So they get a nice boost to their health. This is the first phase of fighting. And we managed to finish off this is a good thing with great handed weapons like two handed maces and stuff, you get a this little sort of pummeling. We got some spider silk and a single shield, along with some XP and a little bit of research. There's another one up here, we should probably Another spider's nest. I'm going to take a risk and reshuffle. Didn't work. Didn't work. Uh, it worked a bit. Basically, bumble out damage. That he is carrying like a like a two-handed mace. All damage, all damage remaining after killing an opponent is then dealt to the second opponent. Basically, her damage carries over into multiple opponents, which is really nice. Um, Arena has a sword, which is last damage dealt to uh, one enemy only, and they have a spear, which basically means that you card dealing piercing damage is placed at the front of the last card and deals half its piercing damage without additional effects to it. So it means they get an extra spear, who get an extra attack, the mace people get damage carrying over. So we're going to put her up. Okay, that's not good. Um, need to put her down, and I need to use counter tactics to get rid of one of their cards from their tactical hand, which is their hand here. Spider with poison, that's not good. Um there's no one uh, is it because I'm yeah, her skill in that is really low and they're all outclassing. I could confuse the spider. Could put him down and then go Nah, that's not gonna work. Hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put Ash down. This is my plan. I'm going to put Ash down. And then I'm going to do... Oh, I can't. Now I just confuse that one then. I'll confuse that one as well and take as many of their attacks off the field as I can. And hopefully my people will be able to kill them off as quickly as possible. Whew, that worked well. Spider Silk. Spite Club. Ooh, let's see what we got then. Spite Club. I actually might take that. I know it gives her a bit of shielding. But I like blunt damage for people. And I could give her. I mean, I got. I have some stuff lying around. I can't give her that. Metal ring. Hmm. That's nice. She's the healer. I need to give it to the other person, though. Uh, can't give her that. I can give her that. Yeah, I'll give her that. What's he's four over? That doesn't make sense. Uh, of course. That's why. I can give her the ribcage. That'll give her some armor. Ok, 
give her the ring. How much does it weigh? That's the thing. And takes gets rid of that. That's nice, I need to give that to someone. I might give that to him, because that's 7 piercing with poison, and this is 14 damage. That's more straight up damage, and I do like the straight up damage. Give him the talisman. Lucky button. Sort of boosting up our members a bit. I might start sending our people back towards the village. Oh, their food supply is getting a bit. Oh, that's the end of it today. Hmm. Leveled up. Our oh, expedition got plus one tactics, plus two strength, plus one gathering, some health, some stealth, or well, some health, stealth, and more health. And in town, they got some health and plus some strength. Only from all the hard work. Production complete. That's nice. They got plus two meat. Some more herbs. And some more food. That's good. I should probably go over there and deal with this hungering. The hungering unliving. That's probably not a fantastic thing to have lying about, to be honest. He's building that, take him a couple of turns. Gathering. Yeah, I need to get. It's not great, is it? The problem is, all my supply of stuff, I've got like literally nothing around. Time and that's just spawned in as well. And I got the food to go and deal with it. I'm gonna go and. I don't like having monster slayers nearby, and they obviously spawn at night, so I'm gonna get this one when I can. Better place, play it safe, and use some trickery. Brew a poison and plant and plant it. Some, let's try that one. I haven't tried that one before. Let's try it. And it's obviously an ability I get from a particular skill, sickness. You start a challenge with. How do okay? Do I want to auto resolve it? You skills used in this challenge: defense, offense, tactics, counter offense, intelligence, confusion, medical skill, weapon effects, fast resolve, adrenaline boost, sturdiness. Well, let's try. I don't know what I'm sort of doing with this, so I try my best. That seems like a good combo. So you see, you take different stuff into account when you're doing this kind of thing. So, confuse opponent's rightmost card in the queue. Your your level is equal or lower to confuse. It's not already confused. Lose its attack in the first phase. Discard around the card from the opponent's tactics hand. The discarded card's level must be equal to or less than the targets. We could try that. But she's like our real powerhouse. Well, let's try it with her. Get rid of one of those. Then we'll put... That won't work. Increase your offensive value of your rightmost card. Let's put... We'll put down an attack card for now, because when they hit us for six, we should still be able to hold out. Okay, and then it's... I can confuse them. 
let's try that and then go hopefully that will finish the thing off ah that was it, yeah he was confused and we have won you have actually your plan for protecting the animal. The animals eat the bait and soon collapse in pain. Perhaps some has gone away, but you you got at least half the pack. Dark pendant. Chiseled from poisonous dark wood, this pendant is said to bring good fortune to the wearer. And some silk. And now, as you see, we have some research unlocked. Now what to get? I need wicker, but there's none nearby. Crafting. That would be nice. Light arm would be nice. I have so many things that would be nice to get. Construction, perhaps. Cabbage field. Smithery, a proper place for crafting items, equipment increases the crafting skill and locks the chance to craft good quality items. Children growing up ch ch children growing up to be, be craftsmen receive five points more skill. That might be useful actually, because I'd like to see what would be coming. Go for the well. Well provides various resources for once. That's the thing. I need to be basically making armor as well for people. So many things to gather. Steel would be nice. But this is all the problem, isn't it? Sandstone. I have no sandstone nearby. I need to be crafting more like crafting stuff but it's no guarantee it's going to be in the village <sighs> what to choose, what to choose I might go here because I'm hoping to be like defensive walls or something yeah there we go there we are here we have to save up for it though what's that barracks, barracks can provide comfort and on order to increase your fighters blah 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 when built around your settlement, the passage will increase the defender's, def defender's defense rating in case of attack. So that's nice to know. Still got one to turn on that. And what little movement? I'll send them back towards the thing just to get some extra food. Another one popped up. Right, we got that done. Construct a watchtower. I'm predominantly... Oh, well, I, I haven't got enough granite for that. It takes a lot of resources. So if we say we had gold in it, what did that do? Obviously nothing. Hmm. What was it? Nah, I was thinking that it might do something, but apparently not. Well, we'll get it built. And take her three turns, but what can you do? Get the people to step into the town for a second. Manage supplies. Right. 
they can have the quartz, the training sword, what else? The mace. Faint bad quality folklore. Mm -mm. That's quite good. But we need to be giving them some food. That should do it. The wood situation is still fine. We got some reptile vests. give them the animal vest because they're the ones that go out most into the world. Mm, no. I would like to give her that. How's her intelligence looking? that will boost her intelligence quite nicely. And I'll give her this one just because she hasn't actually got any armour at the moment and it would be useful. Radio. That seems to be a good setup. Let's hand, head over to this. Yeah, that's done. And of course, more gathering of herbs and stuff, and more meat. And we'll head over to this hungry on living and see what's going Fear on. Is not an easy place to grow up in, but alas, grow up we must. One of your children has matured into a young adult and is ready to join your village and rebuild Fear. Obviously, medic. The child killed a, a mouse with its with its bare little hands. It looks like a promising warrior. The kid worked in the field for a long time. It's time to take this right. He's rushing places between. So, the kid worked on the field for a long time. It's time to take their right to a place between the proud gatherers. The kid has uh, studied a lot, crafting would help us build a better future. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get um, a mixed party of a couple of like some warriors and some gatherers so we can send them out and get some of the gathered resources or at least get enough gatherers in my existing party to do that because at the moment it's a bit off the ground becoming an adult is an important rite of passage the whole village celebrates this Just, yeah. occasion the youngster places a food offering at the altars of their gods in thanks and in hopes for a good future celebrate the rite of passage so let's have a look at this person shall we So let's see. Here she is. Her gather isn't that good. I might take that off of him. Give it to her. He hasn't got a weapon at the moment, which is worrying. Now, piercing damage, blunt damage. I might give her that. Just so that she has a bit of stuff to defend herself with. Overweighed, what's that? That 
that's more shielding and it's lighter as well so in theory I could have given her that and there we go so just giving her a bit of potential and with that done we should be able now for gathering purposes we should be able to take her and go boom and we'll get a nice what we could put so change it now nothing don't think really changes it at all to be honest we haven't got a healer in the settlement we do need to have a healer got to get a lot of gatherers for food I suppose what we could do is go to crafting cook meals confirm materials to meet two meals and put someone on it eight turns seriously or do that Gathering, how's that going to affect our gathering? There'll be no one gathering if I do that. Oh wait. Does that mean everybody's on there? So is there no one that's really... Yeah, we'll put on her, her on there then, because she's got like the lowest crafting thing overall. There. I suppose I could send her out of here so we'd have a bit more gathering potential. That probably would be for the best. You approach the enemy and have time to decide your plan of action. The undead filth must be slain. Yeah, I'm. Let's just go straight up to Bastom couple of broken skeletons and a living corpse. That seems like a good setup. I'm happy with that. Keep and play. Right, so we want to have Nadija, Nadija down first. Ooh, that's a lot of health. Not much damage though. We'll throw down Jane next. And then we'll go... I don't know what's in the pack. We can probably use counter tactic. Get rid of one of their skeletons. Then we'll go... Frank. First action, so he's moved up. And then we'll go... Shield and ally, so he gets a nice little bit of bonus benefit to her health. Fight phase 2 and we finish off quickly and we get from that a buckler and a wood ring, simple wooden band, at times of apocalypse simplicity is often the best choice indeed now if I can get back to the village I should equipment where is she here we go that's interesting I didn't put across any gatherers in it I mean I could switch out my gathering for a moment by going that might work if I take her out, put her there, and put in. Who's got the best gathering at the moment? 
She's got two. Hmm. Thinking, thinking. So if I took... Let's just for say safety's sake, if I took, just left her there and took those two off, it would take three turns to get enough food. But we have a stockpile of food anyway, so that could work. And we could put her on the crafting. That could work as well. Because I'm pretty sure that in her inventory... She... Ah, I thought she had a gathering thing. Oh, she does, but it's... I might take the gathering thing off her then and go... Inventory. And take these two gatherers and put them in the party. Because then what we can do... is go... Now what happened to that ring? Did I take it off her? Oh, I didn't put it in their inventory. My apologies. We could go like that. So when it comes to the group, we could have him with that ring, which is basically a nice little thing to have. Unfortunately, we don't have any armor to give anyone, which is a bit of a shame. We could give him... I mean, do we even have a weapon to give him? That's the question, isn't it? There's a weapon lying about somewhere. Let's see. Yep, there we go. Sorry about this, just taking a bit of time to sort out. We still will give him the mace. Give him the other ring, because we don't really have much equipment to give him, unfortunately. Give him that. That should work well. So now we have two gatherers in our group. Which is nice. Yeah, two gatherers, a healer, and four warriors. So what we could do now is... To be honest, it's it's rather good, because then we can actually use them to gather stuff in the surrounding wilds, which we don't have, like meat and other craftable materials, which would be nice. Our food situation is fine, our wood's coming along fine. And we are out of time for today, ladies and gentlemen, if I've been Cornish Knight. If you have liked, please press the like button. If you are subscribed, please press the subscription button. If you have any questions or requests, leave them in the comment section below. And I shall catch you all next time. Goodbye.